Hi guys, my name is Brady and welcome back to another episode of The Classroom. I hope you're either having a great week or have just had a great week, but either way, nonetheless, in this video, we are learning how to light this nighttime exterior scene that may take place in some sort of parking lot. We're really gonna use those orange and scion sodium vapor lights that you would see in a parking lot to be the driving force for the motivation of our lighting, how we're gonna get the look that we're going for and how we're gonna bring everything in. And actually this shot, this scene that we're gonna be going over is just a cutaway from the film that Sarah and I had just finished production on last week. And I just loved the simplicity of this look to get such a great looking shot, how easy it was to bring in the lights that we did. And I wanted to show it to you guys, show you how I did it so you can put your own creative twist on it and throw it in all of your own projects as well. So I'm excited about it. Let's go ahead and dive in. The first light that I added to this scene is my key light. And this light, I really wanted the main motivation of it to be one of those amber buzzing street lamps that you would see in a parking lot. So to do that, I used my light panels Gemini, one of the one by one panels. And this light actually had a very specific gel mode to it. So I found one that was sodium vapor or vapor or whatever it was. And that got me that really orange amber look that I want. Now, if you don't have that, a lot of light settings don't have these color options or don't even have an RGB option to these lights. So another alternative is getting something like gels, like color gels. I've used them in the past, I'll link them down below, or even getting something like a bicolor light. So then afterwards, you've got the warm tones and the cool tones, and you can kind of manipulate that in post a little bit to drive it towards the colors that you want maybe that uh, warm tone over more towards an amber and that cool tone over towards a green. I know it's possible, so that's another alternative, but I'll link everything down below. And for placement of this light, I'm putting the light as I typically do upstage from Sarah. So it's gonna be on Sarah's far side, giving the light the opportunity to wrap around the face from the highlight into the shadows and us be able to see that really dynamic roll off across the face. But I kept it pretty far on her backside because I didn't want it to fill in the majority of her face, almost just enough to wrap and fill in just a little bit on her far side and pull her out from the shadows. And then to soften that light up a little bit because I always love a nice soft smooth light, especially on skin tones. So to do that, I took some four by four diffusion, stuck that right in front of it as well, and just brought the light a little bit higher from her eye line. So it's coming down just a little bit as a street light would. And that's about it. We've got a really soft, smooth light driven by that orange look that we want to go for, for that really warm tone sodium vapor light. And that leads us to the second light, which serves a couple of different purposes. It's gonna act as a rim light or an edge light, so that's gonna pull Sarah out from the background, out from the shadows, but it's also gonna provide us a different color temperature or a different color profile to give us a lot of color contrast, which balances everything out and makes it not so warm heavy or cool heavy. So the edge light that I'm adding in here is not gonna have any diffusion, just a soft diffusion that comes on the Gemini one by one. That's gonna be it because as an edge light or a rim light, I want the light to still be pretty hard or relatively hard and not incredibly soft. And then for placement of it, I put the light on Sarah's shadow side and cross key, meaning that if you've got the key on camera left, for example, then you wanna put the rim light on camera right. It balances everything out. It pulls that dark side from the shadows and prevents everything from getting lost in that darkness. Her shoulder being dark, getting lost in the dark from what's behind her. So it separates your subject from the background. And if you had that rim light on the same side as the key light, there would be a lot going on. There would be the key light lighting that side of the face then some harsh highlights on the hair and on the neck. And it just doesn't look balanced. It feels kind of heavy towards one side of the frame. So the edge light, I put cross key on the far side on her shadow side. And this light was a light panels Gemini yet again. So I went to a different gel mode this time. Again, one of those other sodium vapor ones, but this was more of that scion color temperature that we really wanted to go for to make that color contrast. So having this orange and amber look on one side, you go across to the other side of the color spectrum or the color wheel, you're gonna fall right in the place of cyan or green. So that's kind of that color contrast happening there that you see on left and right side of Sarah's shoulders. So with those two lights in place, everything when it comes to Sarah being lit up is really nice. You've got a good amount of color contrast. She's looking very dynamic from the highlights to the shadows. There's a lot of contrast and depth going on on her face. But then looking into the background, I noticed that there's really not anything going on. Everything falls to black almost. So that leads me to the third and final light. And I wanted to add just one more panel light back in the background over on camera left and set to that same warm tungsten look that we had before as our key light. So ultimately or essentially it's gonna be motivated by that same street light that's gonna be over there in the background as is the key light. And I put that shining in on the building just to leave a little splash of orange, a little splash of color and texture 
on the wall, any cars, dumpsters, the trees that you see, just to really act as a one of those buzzing, loud, obnoxious orange lights would at night, just spilling a lot of orange ambient light into the background. So let's take a look at each of the lights that we added and see how they really pull together this look that we're going for. Honestly, this lighting setup might appear to be a little bit intimidating on the surface, and that's okay. If you're over here going into this and you're overwhelmed about it all, just take a deep breath, slow down for a second. It's, once we break it down, it's a pretty simple lighting setup, and we can see how three simple lights go such a long way to achieving this final product. And even if at the end of this video, you're still a little bit confused, a little bit thrown off, it's okay, take it back from the beginning, go step by step, maybe write a couple notes down, break everything down, look at the BTS, look at the shots, and hopefully it'll all come home and go full circle for you and make sense at the end of the day. But if you're here also wondering about the giveaway winners because that was two weeks ago today when you're watching this, I'm gonna put out a video a little bit later this week because I actually pre-record my videos today, I think is Saturday. So it wouldn't be fair to some of the latecomers as I promised a two week period from the giveaway opening to closing. It would be unfair to some of the latecomers. So once that all comes together, once it closes off, I'm gonna film another video and put it out a little bit later this week. So be patient with me. But as far as this video goes, as far as this tutorial goes, I hope you found it enjoyable yet educating. And if so, please share it with a friend, get somebody new on board, bring somebody else new into the classroom. It always helps to have your little buddy next to you at the, at the desk there. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I really do hope you have a great week. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, and uh, class dismissed. See ya.